Great folks, I'm going to do an upgrade on my 2012 MacBook Pro, that fella there. It's uh, currently running a i7 processor and 8GB of RAM. I'm going to upgrade it to a 1TB SSD, which might be a little bit of overkill, as at the moment it's only running a 750GB hard drive, and of that, after all these years, I've only managed to fill 230 gig of that hard drive. Uh, also, I'm going to put in 16 gig of RAM. Anyway, we really need to be looking at the uh, bits and pieces I'm going to use. So rather than look at me, let's look at that stuff. Here's what's needed to do this job. There might be a couple of little things I've missed out, but uh, this is most of it. The little toolkit I bought from a company called JCAR and I find this little toolkit really handy. What, what you will need to do the job is a Phillips triple O screwdriver which is that one there and a T6 torque screwdriver which would be that one there, the second one. Also of course you need the uh, RAM now on this RAM, it says on the back of it, or the front depending, that it's for a 2011 model MacBook. Now I'm guessing that this is, this is written there because in 2012 they changed the internals of the uh, Macs, but this will work quite well on my computer. The uh, this is my go-to hard drive. I find these are really good. And uh, a tip when you're looking for this stuff, like the hard drive and the RAM, get to know the marketplace because the prices go up and down quite a lot. So once you get a feel for what they cost, you just wait for the next sale and you generally get them cheaper. Now that's this is a pry tool uh, used for are fitting cables to cars. Also, I've got an operating system on a disk. Now this is the uh, operating system that's on the computer at the moment and it's El Capitan. For the purpose of this I'm going to load El Capitan and then I'll go to the internet on the Apple site and I'll um, probably bump it up to Mojave Okay, let's get started. These screws, some are longer than the others. So when you take them out, lay them on the desk in the pattern that they belong in, and you won't go wrong when you're putting them back together again. With the computer open, I need to know that that's the hard drive, that's the RAM, and that's the battery. And the first thing you have to do is undo the battery. And that's this plug here. So you just do it very gently. With the battery unplugged, I'm going to remove the hard drive first. Undo these screws here. Now once I've got it out, I've got to undo the plug or connector. Gently does it. Undo these and put them on the new hard drive.
Now with those screwed in, I'm going to put it back in the computer. And that's how you replace the hard drive. And now on to removing the RAM. With the RAM, there's two little clips and you just pop them and the RAM just pops up. And you pull it out. And you put it back in the way it came out. Now I'm actually doing this upside down. So I'm gonna turn them around. And that's how you replace the RAM. And one thing I'm sure the eagle-eyed viewer would have spotted is I didn't put the just, I didn't reconnect the battery. Now one thing that some people recommend is to replace the battery, but the battery on this machine is really quite good. And another thing is to give it a vacuum out, but I was fairly confident that this would be clean. And the other thing would be to put some more heat sink on the processor, but um, that's more than I'm capable of, I reckon. That would be a job for someone who really knows what they're doing. Fingers crossed, I've done all of that correct and I'm not going to uh, video loading software because there'd be a lot of people out there throwing things at the screen and yelling things like, not that button you idiot. I had the cover on and a couple of screws in when I realised I hadn't connected the battery and as usual when it comes to loading software I forgot to format the hard drive therefore the computer didn't even know there was a hard drive in the machine and that slowed me up a little bit. Anyway, as always, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.